Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com and I've got a video today to show off my latest project. It's a board game called Hexagolf. And uh, it's a game that simulates a round of golf using some dice and some funky clubs and uh, this uh, hexagonal golf course. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of luck involved, but there's also some skill and a lot of resource management and the decision making. These cards let you adjust the luck of your rolls and uh, the behavior of the ball as you move around the course. Um, this is a project that's been uh, on the back burner for several years, I think. It started as a much different game <laughs> with transparent cards and the the shots printed on the cards but it evolved into like a this hexagon grid idea and for like a year i was working on these 3d printed grids and laser cut pieces that went together to uh have this interchangeable system of hexagons which it turned out to work great but the way the game went I decided it didn't fit the game anymore, so I'm going to shelve these pieces and uh, use them for a future project, I think. I have some ideas for that already, actually. So it's turned into uh, these printed pages on these hexagons, and they'll eventually be in a, like a spiral-bound book if I release the game commercially or for people to print out at home. And... Um, I'm getting ready to release a version to the public and get some play testing done. I'm the only one who's ever played this, so I don't have no I have no idea if anybody else is going to think it's fun or if uh, it actually works as a game for other people. Um, but I'll find out pretty soon. I hope I've been making a tabletop simulator version because it's an easy way, a better, a good way to play test with people online. I don't really care for tabletop simulator i like to touch the pieces and stuff when i'm playing board games it's one of the reasons i busted out this prototype uh while i was working on the rules video i just wanted to touch the pieces again and play and kind of show off the prototype as it is before i do the digital version which i don't like as much um so i'll just i'll just give you a quick overview of how it works i won't get real specific with the rules but i'd like to kind of show the the main game loop, um, which basically involves navigating around this course with these clubs and these dice. <laughs> the numbers on the clubs uh, show you where the ball will land after you roll your dice. These cards let you uh, mitigate your dice rolls, the bad luck on the dice, or uh, change the way the ball behaves here. During the landing step, you can move the ball one hex in any direction for three focus. This is how much the card costs to play. And focus is a kind of representation of your mental energy or your clarity of mind, which is pretty important in golf, uh, at least if you're good at golf. <laughs> I certainly am not good at golf. I'm not good at real life golf. I really enjoy playing it, although I haven't played for 20 years probably. But I, I enjoy golf video games too. And my dad enjoys watching golf, so this is a uh, one reason I started working on this project is because it's something I thought he might enjoy too. So I'm getting close to a real game here and I'm excited to get some people to play it too. So let's play it, let's play a, a, a quick hole. This is the first par three. Here's the tee and the green. This is a, a bunker. The darker green is the rough. We don't want to go in there. It's harder to hit out of. We have a lot of clubs, but we can't use them all. We can only use these three over here in the caddy. This is the caddy area. I can choose clubs from here. Here's the three cards that I have. They can be played at different steps in the, in the swing process, in the shot process. But uh, so let's see what we can do here. You got to line these clubs up with the ball and have, they have to be adjacent to the ball and uh, some other 
rules. This is actually an excellent club to draw for a par three. If I roll a seven, I can definitely get a birdie here. I have one focus, so I could play this club on landing that let, lets me move the ball one hex forward. Yeah, I'm gonna do that and hope I get a seven. I'll get a hole in one <laughs> if that happens. All right, come on, seven. Oh, 11. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. So I got an 11. The ball goes here on 11. But I'm still going to use this top spin card. It says move the ball one hex forward for one focus. So I'll pay my focus. Move the ball here. Ah, well, I went for the hole in one and missed. That's all right. Now I have a tough shot, though. Uh, well, this isn't so bad. Six to eight or two to five here. Here's the hole. This means I have to perform a tricky putt if I land there, which is a little mini game. And this is uh, an easy putt. that automatically just costs you one more stroke. I'm out of focus, so I won't be able to play this card. This one's no good, so we're relying on luck. Come on, six to eight. Now, which one do I want? Two to five. We want anywhere from two to eight. Seven. That's not bad. Bink, seven. Okay, cool. Now I can show off the tricky putt game. This is the newest edition and uh it's working out pretty well it's like a little polyomino laying puzzle and so the tricky putt we're gonna have to use one stroke to putt so i'm gonna draw it out of the club bag here's all the clubs that i use for the hole here's our green it's the hole i put my ball token on there now I have to cover up all of these star tokens with the clubs that I used so far on the hole. If I can do that, I'll get a par on this hole. I barely missed that. There are also ways to earn bonus focus while you do this. If I can stay within the borders or if you cover them, up, cover them all up every space on the green mm. I'm not gonna get any bonuses but I'll definitely get them all covered up I'm still testing this it's gonna take a lot of testing I think to figure out where to put all these stars and how difficult everything is but for now we'll just do something here a tough one now right here pink <laughs> oh hey look I did I got a bonus I, I I covered up all the stars but I didn't go outside the borders of the green so that means I sink the hole using the clubs I've already used and I get a bonus focus and then I get one for finishing the hole. I'm gonna... So yeah, that worked good. That was tricky. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's kind of the gist of it. Now we'd go on to the next hole. We put these back, uh, draw a new card, and move over here to the next hole. Using We have fewer choices right now for the clubs, but there are ways to get around that. But that's the basic game loop. And I'm excited to get some more people to play and get some feedback, get some new ideas coming because I'm the only one who's ever seen this or had any input on it. So uh, I'm really looking forward to getting some more eyes on it. <laughs> and I hope that was interesting to you. And I uh, thanks for watching. If you're interested in playing, stay tuned because I'll have links to uh, 
the tabletop simulator version and a print and play version eventually. So stay tuned if it looks like fun to you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.